With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that a vessel is in the form of an inverted cone and its height is 8 cm and the radius of its top which is open is 5 cm. So we are given a conical vessel which is in, in the form of an inverted cone and the radius of the top is 5 cm and the height of this cone is 8 cm. It is filled with water up to the brim. It has been filled with water up to the brim and lead shorts each of which is a sphere of radius 0.5 cm are dropped into the vessel. Lead shorts these uh, shorts of uh, lead are dropped into this uh, vessel and such that one fourth of the water flows out. So when these shorts were were dropped into the vessel, one one fourth of the water flow, flow, flows out, flowed out. So we are asked that uh, the number of uh, lead shorts that has been dropped in the vessel. So we know that that the volume of water that has that has flowed out, volume of water flown out. Volume of water flown out will be equal to the volume of uh, these lead shorts. So let us assume that total number of lead shorts that are dropped is n. So n multiplied by volume of one lead short, volume of one lead short, or we can also call it as lead ball so as it is a lead shaped ball or a, a short so it is spherical in shape so when we are saying that volume of one lead short what we are saying is that volume of one spherical lead short so now now the volume of water flown out is according to question total volume flown out is one by fourth of the volume of volume of the vessel and vessel is in the shape of a cone so 1 by 4th of volume of cone is equals to n multiplied by volume of 1 lead short. Volume of 1 lead short. Now using the formula for volume of cone we will have 1 by 4 multiplied by volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi radius of cone radius of cone square multiplied by height of cone is equals to n multiplied by volume of one lead short will be because it is spherical in shape so it will be 4 by 3 pi radius of spherical lead short raised to the power 3. Now putting in the values of radius of cone height of cone and radius of sphere what we get is 1 by 4 multiplied by 1 by 3 multiplied by pi this pi will cancel out this pi and we will get we will get we will remain with we will be remain with radius square radius of cone square and radius of cone is 5 centimeter so we will be left with 5 square multiplied by height of cone height of cone is 8 centimeter is equals to n multiplied by 4 divided by 3 multiplied by pi pi has been cancelled out radius of sphere radius of sphere is given as 0 0.5 centimeter so 4 by 3 multiplied by 0.5 raised to the power 3. Now simplifying it further we will get n multiplied by 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 5 divided by 10 raised to the power 3 will be equal to 5 divided by 10 multiplied by 5 divided by 10 multiplied by 5 divided by 10 and from here we will get 1 divided by this 8 will get cancelled out by 4 and we will get 2 in the numerator so we will have 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 now this 5 and 5 will get cancelled out because they are present on both sides of the equation this 4 will also get cancelled out and we will get 2 so what we are left with is n multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 divided by 3 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 
and this will be equal to 3. So this 10 will cancel out this 10 and we will get 1. Now this uh, 300, now in the denominator that is there is 300. So we can write this 300 when we do cross multiply this 300 will go to the left hand side of the equation and we will be having n is equals to 300 divided by 3 which will solve to give us the number of lead shots that is 100 and this is our answer that there are 100 lead shots. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.